This is Rich trying to strategize how to capture this tarantula so that we can get him out of this room. I screamed like a baby when I saw it. I was just finished in working on my story in relation to following Jesus, the Lamb who restores you to your identity, who you are in Christ, and that one of the things God wanted me to be and I wanted to be for a long time was to fight evil. And um, then I had come in here and done a few things and not realized that I was sharing the room with Terry the tarantula. I realized that if you think you're supposed to fight evil, you better be ready. We pray now for God to protect Rich from any kind of spitting or hissing and that the tarantula would go into this bucket. Did it fall? Yep. In the bucket it seemed to have fallen down. And there it is, kind of agitated. We pray that Rich would not drop it, not drop it in any way. We pray, Father, for your safety. Yes, we would, per we'll get a look at him. We think we should crush it. No way. So Rich is going to bring it very far away from us. <laughs> so it cannot, and of course this bucket will never be used for food again. <laughs> at least not by us. Not by us. And so... The people who come after us won't know unless they watch this video. <laughs> well, we're not going to... We're, don't worry, people who come after us. We're not going to uh, put this out as a tempting little bucket for you to use for food. And I guess the tarantula will just stay here until it expires because who needs another tarantula in the world? <laughs> not going to let you put that and loose it in the campus so it goes elsewhere. No, I'm going to walk off campus. So you hear and see, there it is. May I just say, my hero, <laughs> my hero. <I'm> so sweet. <laughs> well, I was just going into the bathroom to say, I'm glad Larry the lizard has moved on to a different <laughs> room, but we got Terry the tarantula instead. <laughs> and it just made me a little nostalgic for Larry. <laughs> Here we are bringing the tarantula off campus so that we can let it go free because we don't want, of course, to squish it because Rich had read, and I think I seem to remember, that they can dart point their hairs out, which could be poisonous. So here we go into the wild blue yonder, I mean dark yonder. It's of course a reminder to pray more thoroughly about the things that can enter your womb. Yes. And so we pray even now, no more things that potentially squeamish, dangerous. Here's what I think. What is that? I think you just leave the bucket here and crack it open a little Get bit. Get it open in the morning. Get it back in the morning. Get well, we're not going to return that bucket to ourselves. Are you kidding me? Don't go. T I'm not going out there, love. Do you need the flashlight? But ticks. Adventures in the bush. I think I'm just going to let him go and do it. Let your angel take care of the Lord Jesus. Here comes our hero <laughs> from the battlefield. So I'm leaving it in the can overnight and let him crawl out in his own time. The end. How does it feel to be a tarantula torturer? It was not a torturer. A I tarantula was, trapper. I saved him from my bride who wanted to squish him. How does it, <laughs> how does it feel to be a tarantula trapper? Trapper. Well, that was kind of fun. It was an adventure, but he was pretty slow moving. So it was, uh, it was exciting, but not scary. Good job. 